Hey everyone, this one's just a retro hippie style macrame bracelet. It's just made out of natural fibre, it's super cheap to make. Okay, to make this we're just going to need some garden twine, hemp or jute is fine, and then we just want to measure it out around our wrist. Just enough to go around and then a little bit of extra for some knotting. And then we just want to cut that off. And that'll be our short piece, and we want a longer piece, and that's going to be four times the length. So we just measure out four times that length, just by folding it over on itself. That's two, four, and we can just cut that off. So you should have a short piece and a long piece, and you just want to put them together so that they match at one side, and come down about eight to ten centimeters and then tie a simple overhand knot just like that tighten it up and now we want to knot the long piece around the short piece so the short piece is on my right hand side and the long piece is on my left and I just want to come around like that and then back up through that loop pull it all the way through and then to tighten it up make sure the short piece stays vertical and tighten the next one up just by pulling it off to the side and upwards and that will give us a nice spiral shape and we just need to repeat that cross it over come up through that loop and then to tighten it off make sure the short piece here is vertical and tighten it by pulling up to the side now we just need to keep repeating that process until the bracelet becomes long enough to sort of go around our wrist Okay, once we've made this spiral long enough to go most of the way around our wrist, we want to make an adjustable closure here so we can tie it around our wrist. To make the closure, we just want to overlap the free ends that are on either side of that spiral. Just like that. And then we're going to take another piece of twine, a short piece, maybe 30, 40 centimeters. Just lay it over the top and then take the right hand side behind and over the left and then there should be a loop on the right hand side just tuck the free end up through that loop It's just going to make an overhand knot around both of these. And then we're going to continue by making a loop on the right side, over with the left, and then up through that loop. And tighten that down. And then we're going to make the loop on the left hand side. Over the right and up behind through that loop. Tighten that down. And we just want to keep repeating that procedure until we've done about seven or so knots. Once you've done your eight or so stitches here as your closure we just want to lock this end off so that your stitches don't come undone and we're just going to do that by doing a simple overhand knot. So just make a loop and then feed the end through that loop. Just a simple overhand knot and then 
just make it loosely and then you want to work that overhand knot right up to the end there, right close and slowly tighten it up so the overhand knot ends up right at that edge and then we'll do the exact same thing on this side so we want to make sure that the bracelet doesn't slide all the way apart and we're going to do that by just forming overhand knots on the ends here and we'll do that again just by forming a loop and then tucking those ends through the loop and then working the knot right close to the end there pulling that tight and then doing the same on the other side here and once you've tied overhand knots on the ends here you should be able to slide your bracelet apart all the way apart like that and then pulling these ends to tighten it up and then that should be your finished bracelet